My name is Charlie McGrath. I'm the founder of WideAwakeNews.com and a host on the Rinse Radio Network. Benjamin Franklin said, Those that are willing to give up their freedom, give up their liberty for a little bit of safety, deserve neither. Today we found out, reports are coming out, that the president who promised to veto the Defense Authorization Act of 2012 will not veto this piece of legislation. This $600 billion spending bill that will make it completely and totally legal for the government to detain you, a United States citizen, indefinitely if you deemed if you are deemed an enemy combatant. If you were deemed an enemy of this government, you can be detained forever. Forever. You can be without trial, without proof, without cause, other than some bureaucrat deciding that you are a threat to this government. You fall into the right criteria, so your 14th Amendment does not matter to anymore. They can take it from you, put you in a hole, and forget you were ever born. As a veteran of the Gulf War, as a member, as a former member of the United States Army, it absolutely makes me beyond furious and breaks my heart more than I can express in words what is happening to my country right before my very eyes. It is a complete and total utter banker takeover, writing policy in Washington, D.C., and we've been told for the last 10 years that we need to point the guns outward because the enemy is terrorism, and terrorism is going to take over our country. Well, you better be ready for the guns to be turned inward. Let me bring you a fact. In the last, between 1995 and 2004, 6,900 people died on this planet because of terrorist acts. This year alone, this year alone, we will have nearly 50,000 people dying every single day on this planet because of hunger. There is no war on terrorism. The war is on you. You are the enemy now. No more will we look across the ocean and decide that we need to invade one country after another. Now the people that speak out against the corruption in Washington, D.C., the people who speak out against the absolute usurpation of your freedom, of your liberty, of your destiny. If you dare to speak out, you will be the new terrorist. Welcome to the United States of America, Prison Camp USA. Stories are attached. That's all I got.